The Battle of Trulas was fought on the 22nd of September 1793 during the French Revolutionary War between the French Army of the Eastern Pyrenees led by Luc Simeon Auguste Dagobert and the Spanish Army of Catalonia under Antonio Ricardos. This attempt by the French to exploit their success in the Battle of Peristortes ended in a Spanish victory. Part of the War of the Pyrenees, the battle was fought near the village of Truyas in the French department of Pyrenees Orientales, 12 km southwest of Perpignan. <laughs> <laughs> Background Since invading French Roussillon in April 1793, Captain General Ricardos and his Spanish army won a string of successes over the defending forces of the First French Republic. The Siege of Bellegarde ended with a French capitulation on 24 June 1793. Since June, the Spanish army maintained itself a few kilometres south of Perpignan, the department capital. In early September, Ricardos made a bid to isolate and capture the fortress of Perpignan by sending two divisions around its western side to cut the road to Narbonne. Meanwhile, he bombarded the city from the south. French troops under General of Division Eustache Charles Doust and General of Brigade Jacques Giles Henri Goguet attacked the positions of Spanish Lieutenant General Geronimo Goran Moctezuma, Marquis de Las Amarillas at Peristortes, and Lieutenant General Juan de Curtin at La Vernet. The resulting Battle of Peristortes on 17 September was an important French victory. The badly shaken Spanish army regrouped near Truyas. The day after Peristortes, General of Division Luc Simeon Auguste Dagobert was appointed commander of the Army of the Eastern Pyrenees. Desiring to take advantage of the recent victory and urged on by representative on mission Claude Fabre, Dagobert decided to attack Ricardos in his camp at Truyas. <laughs> Battle Trius nestles in a plain on the Cantarane stream at an altitude of about 100 metres. Moss Deu, an establishment founded by the Knights Templar in medieval times, is located 2.4 kilometres to the east. Tuir lies 5 kilometres to the northwest. Ricardos defended these positions with a force of 17,000 soldiers and 38 cannons. The second battalion of the Barcelona Infantry Regiment arrived, but this reinforcement did not make up for the heavy Spanish losses suffered at Peristortes. Dagobert attacked the Spanish defences with 22,000 soldiers. The French order of battle included the 7th, 61st, 70th, and 79th Infantry Demi Brigades, as well as the National Guards of Gers and Guard. Dagobert preferred to envelop the Spanish position from the west, but Fabre and the other generals persuaded him to make a frontal attack. So he sent General of Brigade Louis Antoine Goguet's division to assault the Spanish left flank at Tuir while sending a flanking column to attack that town from the west. Doust's division was ordered to attack the Spanish right flank at Mas Deu, while Dagobert led his own division in an attempt to pierce the Spanish center. Believing that Tuir was the focus of the main French effort, Ricardos posted General Crespo and only 3,000 men to defend the Spanish right. He shifted the troops of L. G. Pedro Tellez Gorin, 9th Duke of Osuna and L. G. Luis Fermin de Carvajal, Conde de la Union to hold Tuir. Dagobert's attack pushed back the Spanish center and forced its way into the main camp at Truyas. Meanwhile, Goguet ran into a concentration of Spanish infantry and artillery on the west flank at Tuir and was beaten. Ricardos personally led a cavalry charge to break up the flanking column, then he returned to the crisis of the battle in the center. Doust merely skirmished with Crespo near Mas Deu and never mounted a serious threat to the Spanish right. This allowed Ricardos to mass his cavalry against Dagobert's division. After disposing of Goguet, De La Union marched to Trias to take the French centre in reverse. Three French demi-brigades were surrounded and many prisoners taken. After an all-day battle Dagobert retreated northeast to Canohes. The Spanish victory was also helped by disorganisation and poor logistical arrangements on the part of the French. Topic. Result Though Dagobert admitted only 1,500 casualties, historian Digby Smith notes that the French actually suffered 3,000 killed and wounded, with 1,500 soldiers and 10 artillery pieces captured. The Spanish army lost a total of 2,000 killed, wounded, and missing. De Curtin and General Diego Godoy also fought for the Spanish. 
Representatives Fabre and Raymond Gaston removed the unsuccessful Dagobert from command of the army on 28 September and temporarily replaced him with Doust. Dagobert returned to the Cerdanya with his division and sacked the Spanish town of Camproden on 4 October. Though Ricardos gained the victory at Truyas, he soon found it expedient to withdraw to the Tech River. On 3 October, the Spanish commander and 15,000 troops repulsed Doust and 16,000 Frenchmen at La Boulou on the Tech. In that action, 1,200 French soldiers became casualties against only 300 Spaniards. <laughs> Footnotes <laughs>